tomato preserves or tomato jam. You did that. Happy Saturday. I got lots of tomatoes, fresh tomatoes from my garden. And I cannot eat them all right away and I don't want to waste them. So I was planning to make a tomato jam or tomato marmalade to extend its shelf life at least. Okay. So I will be needing tomatoes and lemon juice and lemon zest and a half and a cup of white sugar that's it plain and simple just tomatoes lemon and sugar okay let's get started okay i will just slice the tomatoes into cubes two cubes Just like so. This is the best tomato for sure. I need it already. This will be sweet and savory. So just like that. Okay. Okay, so we are ready. This is the sliced tomatoes. And then we're gonna mix it in this pot together with the sugar and the lemon juice. Okay, we will mix the three ingredients. This is the tomato. And then one and a half cup of white sugar. And then lemon juice just a little that's it and then just mix it up before you will put it in the stove just like that make sure all the sugar will be melted before you will turn on the fire okay we okay so now we will be cooking this in medium to high for five minutes until it's boiling or until it will reach the boiling point and then you will just put it back to moderate low medium low medium to low okay just keep stirring it so it will not scorch in the bottom this will be so delicious. This is an organic tomato from my garden. Make use what you have. Okay. Okay, it's boiling now. So it'll just stir it, stir it, stir it until we we'll get the exact consistency keep stirring so it will not form a scorch in the bottom that will burn the sugar and it will affect the taste of your marmalade 
Buka buka share and make one shish one. Tomato marmalade. Okay, I guess 10 more minutes to go. Look at that nice color. I like the color of it. Looks so yummy. Tomato marmalade. This would be my first time. But I have tasted it before. I guess tomato preserves like tomato candies. You can make tomato jam. What's the difference between jam and marmalade? I guess the jam, you have to extract the juice out of it and then boil it until it gets hard. And with the marmalade, everything is still intact. The whole fruit is still there. Right? What do you think? What's your opinion? You're the one who like to eat jam. And yeah, strawberry and grape. Yeah, but the way it is. <laughs> this will be your first time with tomato jam. This will be so delicious and nutritious. It won't change its taste. You can use this for the pizza too. So we make tomato sauce. Oh, a little pepper. Ooh, okay. Wow, we're almost there. It's been 10 minutes. Oh. Did you see the difference? Wow. It looks so yummy. Wow, look at that. Look at the consistency. Looks like a marmalade now. Or a jam. Tomato marmalade or tomato jam. Whichever you call it, it's the same. Or go to your stomach. Okay, how will you know if your jam is ready? Look. Look, it's hard. You can see the bottom. Look. Mm. Okay, but this is the first test. If it will not spread. Oh, that's it. That's ready. See, the sugar is forming. I learned this in school. In baking. Okay, here's our tomato marmalade, marmalade. Okay, mga misis. Here's the tomato marmalade. It looks so appetizing. Look at the color. I will just leave it here for hours so it will completely cool down. Then I'll transfer it in a jar. Look at the 